Hey everybody, this is Justin with Siage Sense. Today I've got a video for you about powerful, long-lasting fragrances. Every one of these is really good. I've got price ranges from about $20 on up to around $100, so pretty good spread. And uh, let me know in the comments what would you add to this list. And also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. I've got two or three videos coming out a week, plus shorts and that kind of thing. So hopefully you will join us. Okay, now I will say about these, every one of them is going to last at least 8 to 10 hours. Some of them significantly more than that. It's just often at the end of the day, after about 10 hours or so, I'm changing clothes and sometimes washing a fragrance off and putting on something new. So I'll comment on the ones that I know are beyond that 10, uh, 10 hour mark, uh, but all of these are really great performers. Okay, first up, I'll go with one that is a clone. I've got five clones and five original fragrances here. Uh, this is a clone that significantly outpour outperforms the original. This is a clone of Silver Mountain Water by Creed. This is Armaf Club de Nuit Siage. This one is a very interesting uh, spiced floral fragrance that has a distinct tea note and that has a distinct inky note that people will often comment on. This one surprised me. I quickly will go nose blind to this, as I believe most people will. Uh, there's a powerful ambroxan in this fragrance that sort of carries those other notes. And throughout the life of the fragrance, whenever, uh, whenever I first put it on, I get that inkiness and that tea vibe. That's to me what the opening really consists of but hours in, four, five, six hours into the fragrance, you get this um, spiced, almost incensed floral vibe that continues on for 12, 14 plus hours. I'm not the only one who said this. I've seen some of you comment about the nuclear performance of this fragrance. A lot of development in this one. It's a super interesting fragrance and it's perfect uh, for spring, even heading into summer. Uh, it's a great pickup, as many of the Club de Nuit fragrances are. Okay, next up, let's go with one of the Azaro Wanted fragrances. This one uh, is probably still tied for me with Wanted by Night, and this one, which is the most wanted parfum. They're very different fragrances from one another. I won't talk about Wanted by Night, although I love it, and I've done a lot of videos on it. This one is this magical vanilla, um, bourbon vanilla with some uh, smoked woods, slightly smoky woods. They call it incandescent woods and a very vibrant, sparkly ginger. And the way that the ginger interacts with that uh, opening, which has a little bit of fruit of some sort, some kind of a citrus, although Azaro doesn't tell you, in a weird way, it reminds me a little bit of a blue fragrance just at the beginning. And then, of course, with the vanilla and the woods and the rest of that coming through, it quickly becomes something else. It's a pretty sweet fragrance. It's a powerful fragrance. It is a parfum. And the sillage of this thing is amazing. You'll be still smelling it on you eight hours into the fragrance. Whenever you're changing clothes, whenever I'm changing clothes, at the end of a 10-hour day, I'm still smelling it on me. And this is an incredible fragrance. The prices haven't come down much on these. I saw them pretty cheap around Christmas time, but now the 100 mil is back up around $100. But probably within the next year, the price on this one as well as the EDP are probably going to drop. They're both great pickups. The whole line, other than the you know tonic and the original, uh, I really like. So... All right, next up, we'll go with one from Mancera. And this is one that's also pretty interesting because I don't have much that smells like this. This is Aoud Lemon Mint. And with most Mancera fragrances, the longer I wear them, as in the more times I wear them, I pick up different things about them. And uh, there's a couple of them that I do go nose blind to. This one, when I first started wearing it, I thought, man, this thing doesn't perform at all, but I was just going nose blind. And now that I've worn it enough and maybe my brain's become more accustomed to it, I'm smelling it on me for hours. And what you're going to get with this one is, of course, lemon, mint, oud, and almond. I would say the lemon and a sweet almond are going to be the standout qualities. The almond in this will remind you of Parfums de Marly Pegasus. It's a very similar 
uh, almond that's used in this one. And you do get mint. Mint is one of the notes that I really couldn't pick out at the beginning because the, the sweet almond and lemon were so strong. Uh, but you do get a mintiness, I think, right from the beginning. My brain just couldn't pick it out. And then the oud is not funky at all. It's not animalic or medicinal. It's very slight. It's very light. But it just mixes with the sweetness of those other notes uh, and somehow tones them down a little bit so that I would say this is probably an all-year-round fragrance. I wore it a little bit in the winter. I'm wearing it now in the spring. It works in both of those. It's going to work in the summer as well, but because of the sweetness, I'll probably go with two or three sprays and it'll work just fine. All right, here's another one. That is a powerhouse, and this is a pretty inexpensive fragrance. This is one you can get for, last I checked, around the mid-20s, maybe on up to 30. This is a clone of Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. This is Afnan 9 p.m. Many have spoken about this one as a great performer at a great price, and what you're going to get in this one uh, is pear, cinnamon, vanilla, um, in the uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, I believe you have a pear note, where in this one, I think it might actually be apple rather than pear, but it's very, very similar to the Ultra Male. I don't know if I would have known that it was a different fruit unless I had seen the notes, uh, but this is just a incredible sweet fragrance. This is a sweet fragrance. Uh, that fruitiness is pretty fresh. And so I think you can pull this off in the summer. Just dial your sprays way back because it is strong. Again, this is going to be one of those 10-hour performers. Uh, it's got projection. It's got sillage. It is a strong fragrance. And definitely, you know, winter, spring, fall, it's a great uh, fragrance. And I've even worn it a few times in the summer, and it worked uh, just without a ton of sprays, of course. All right, next up, we'll go with one that is not a clone. It's an original, but it's from Latafa. And they do have some original fragrances that are really good. And this is definitely one of them. This is Kaed Al Fursan. And this is one that's right around $20, maybe the low 20s, 22 or something like that, if you catch it at the right time online. And what you're going to get with this one is a pineapple bomb. To me, it is like... Uh, fresh pineapple in the opening or maybe even crushed pineapple or something like that. Very distinct, very kind of sweet and syrupy, but there's also a darkness in this fragrance. There's some oud uh, in the base that I, I pick up immediately whenever I spray it on. And as the fragrance goes into an hour or two hours, it's almost like an equal balance of that sweet syrupy pineapple and the darkness of that oud and this is just a great fragrance some have compared it to aventus and i get that because you've got the pineapple then you've got the darker woodsy dry down but it's not a clone of aventus i would say it's maybe not even 50 percent aventus but it's a similar kind of structure but if you like pineapple and you want something that's a little different, that's got a little bit of darkness that will uh, not only make it appropriate for warm weather, but for cold weather as well. This is a fantastic, powerful, easily 12-hour, all-year-round fragrance. Incredible pickup for the price. All right, the next one we'll go with. This one is a Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is, of course, the original, not a clone. This is the new Le Parfum, and I freaking love this fragrance. This is Le Mal Le Parfum. Now this one you're going to get uh, cardamom, iris, vanilla. Those are sort of some of the main standouts. There's other notes as well. But I'll tell you what's interesting about this one. When I first started wearing it, I was amused that I could pick up on the iris because I, I had heard it was pretty subtle. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. A little bit of an iris. The more I've worn it, my brain has keyed into it. And this is straight up a lipsticky iris with cardamom and vanilla. It is a sweet, spicy fragrance. To me, the iris is not subtle. It's actually pretty forward. And that lipsticky iris with the cardamom, with the vanilla, make this a magical scent. There, uh, There's a texture to that spiciness. It's, it's just like a, yeah, I don't know. There's just like you could bite into it and chew it. And I absolutely love it. And this is another one that's probably easily a 10 hour fragrance. And it is absolutely fantastic. Definitely geared more towards cold weather um, 
or evenings, you know, uh, you wouldn't want to wear that if it's 95 degrees outside. <clears throat> All right, the next one I want to mention, this one's an original fragrance. Also, this is an oldie but a goodie. It's not even that old, but a lot of people consider it to be, you know, kind of played out. But I've started wearing this one again a little bit in recent weeks, and here's what I've been surprised about. There is a freshness in this fragrance uh, that has really been surprising me because I remembered this one as being so syrupy sweet uh, that I hadn't worn it hardly at all for the past year. I'm talking about the original One Million. And so this one, the standout is going to be uh, Vanilla. And then there is some woods and even some leather in the dry down, uh, but it's, it's a vanilla fragrance with some dark notes and some spice. There's some cinnamon in here, but there's also um, a grapefruit in the opening and some other fresh note. I didn't look up the, I haven't looked up the notes since I started wearing it again, but there is a freshness to this fragrance that I think has made it perfect for spring. Uh, it's, a, it's a soapy cleanness. I remember uh, Aaron Terrence Hughes doing a review of this and talking about how clean and soapy it is. And I thought, that is so weird. Why is he saying that? And then I got it back out and started wearing it again. And I was like, oh my gosh, there is a soapy, clean, fresh opening to this fragrance as well as that grapefruit before you get into those sweet, spicy notes. If you haven't tried this one in the last year or two, spray it on again and look for that freshness. It's really kind of breathed a whole new life into one million for me. That's a really good one. All right, the next couple are gonna be clones. This one is a clone that's gotten a lot of hype for good reason. This is a powerful, long-lasting, excellent clone of Parfums de Marly, their probably uh, best-selling fragrance, Layton. I don't know that for a fact. I'm just guessing because it's so ubiquitous at this point. But this is Alharamane Detour Noir, and it is a beautiful, edible, uh, gourmand, sweet, spicy vanilla fragrance. You've got a kind of vanilla base. You've got uh, sort of a spiced apple opening. Uh, you've also got a little bit of an aromatic quality, a little bit of a mintiness uh, that comes through in the opening. So this is sort of a uh, sweet, spicy, um, fruity, slightly minty or aromatic fragrance. And the reason I say gourmand is because whenever I spray this on, it makes me want to eat dessert. I've got a couple clones of Layton. This is still unquestionably to me the best price per mil Layton clone that I've gotten a hold of. And I, maybe there's others I don't know about. I've got the Alexandria clone as well. It's, it's good, uh, maybe even a touch closer to Layton, but it's pretty expensive and it doesn't perform as well. This one is probably an eight to 10 hour fragrance. I've heard some say even 12 hours, but definitely a good performer. You've got good projection. You've got good sillage. It's just a great pickup. Keep an eye out and you can get it for less than $40. All right, another one that is uh, a clone that's gotten a ton of hype. This one is from Latafa. This is a clone of Angel Share, and this is Kamra. Uh, I recently sprayed on Angel Share at the mall, uh, and I was surprised that to me the cinnamon note in Angel Share is quite a bit more powerful than Kamra. It's almost like. Um, in, in the original Angel Share as I was wearing it, it was like cinnamon was 80% of what I was smelling. This one's definitely got a beautiful cinnamon in it, but it's also got a little bit, uh, of course it's got a boozy quality. It's got a vanillic, ambery sweetness. Uh, it's got some uh, resinous weight to it. It's definitely got cinnamon and some other spices. Uh, and it's also got a little bit of an oodiness. Uh, it reminds me slightly of Latafa's Amir Al Oud Intense, which is uh, a By the Fireplace clone that's also got a little bit of an oodiness, but this one's like a marshmallowy, sweet, boozy, spicy fragrance. You know, I've heard some people say it might only be 75% similar to Angel Share, and having just wore Angel Share a couple weeks ago, I think that might be right. But it is an awesome fragrance, and as soon as you smell it, if you're familiar with Angel Share, you're going to know this is a clone of Angel Share, and it is beast mode, probably 14 hours of performance. It lasts forever. It'll stay on your clothes literally for weeks. 
I mean, this is a powerhouse. Three sprays is all you need. This thing is a monster. Incredible value. Smells amazing. All right, this last one. This is uh, an Armoth. Uh, that is a blend of several of the big iris fragrances. Um, it's like if you were to take uh, Dior Ohm Intense, mix it with uh, Valentino Womo Intense, mix it with Givenchy Gentleman EDP. That's the way I've heard it described. This is Armoff Odyssey Ohm. This is the EDP. Go with the black version. The white one is supposed to be another great clone. I don't have that one yet, but it's on my list. But this one right here, you're going to blend those top tier iris fragrances together. You're going to get that leathery, chocolatey iris beauty. This is a really great one. Highly recommended. All right. Well, there has been 10 powerful and long lasting fragrances. Uh, I think you'd be happy with any one of these if the description sounds appealing because the performance is going to be satisfactory. But again, let me know down in the comments what would you add to the list. I've actually got about 25 more that I wanted to put in this. So I think I'm going to do several of these videos of powerful and long lasting. But I look forward to seeing yours and please subscribe to the channel and let's dialogue about these things together. I'll look forward to it. I'm Justin. This is Siash Sense.